Hello, Sagittarians. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the second week in February. This reading is for all of the Sagittarians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second week in February. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your sun sign, please check out your moon, venus, and rising sign videos to get a fuller understanding of your story. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you find that this reading does resonate with your situation and you want to show some support for the channel, I ask that you hit the subscribe link along with the notification bell and a thumbs up image so that you are notified when new videos are posted and this um, so that this video will circulate. So we are going to pull your energy. For this reading, we are starting out with the Eight of Swords. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. The same card came out for them in the same place. We have the Judgment card. The Nine of Wands, the Justice card, Libra's energy. We have um, Scorpio energy, Libra's energy is here as well. Why is this Justice card here for my Sagittarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? the nine of swords the ace of cups the hierophant taurus energy the six of cups the seven of pentacles And the Ten of Cups came out. I'll place it to, to, to the side. We have the Star card at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Have Aquarius in your chart or in your environment. Some of you are healing from a situation, hoping that things get better. You're in your head about a new beginning. Starting over, starting something new. With this judgment card, you may feel wounded. Or you may be in your head about starting something over after being wounded. Feeling like um, the wounded warrior. But you're still putting one, fo one foot in front of the other. To balance things out in your life with this justice card. You may have experienced some type of anxiety. You are up at night thinking about this situation. But there's a new beginning here. Ace of Cups. A new beginning in love. Some of you have gotten some advice from someone you look to for um, as an authority figure. Some of you have listened to spirit. And you have reconnected with someone or a situation or people that um, bring some joy into your life. You may be doing something that you love to do that's um, successful. Some of you are working hard right at this time. And you're going to be rewarded for the work that you put in. And with this Ten of Cups, you're going to be happy. All of this working and um, sacrificing and what you're doing, you're going to have a happy home. Some of you have children, two to three to be exact. Someone may be pregnant right now. Some of you are pregnant right now. But I see um, children here. Happy home, happy life. Yeah, you're happy. With this new, um, this new beginning. Some of you had to literally like start something over. Yeah. 
Some of you started over and things moved in quickly. When they when it started to move, it moved quickly. After some type of disappointment, heart um break and betrayal. But now I feel like you are um you're working hard right now. Some of you have a lot of obstacles in your way. Obstacles that you have overcome, but you were honest with yourself. You were also uncertain about this new beginning. Cancer Pisces energy. But you're on this new journey. Yeah, see, Eight of Wands, things came in quickly for you. Things are moving fast. Things are moving fast. But this is what you wanted. I feel like this is what you wanted. Because something in the past broke your heart. Yeah, see? Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate beginning for you. Now, you're you're mo you're up, moving around. Look at this. Stable. You're content where you're at. So, you're staying there. You're not moving on. You're focusing on your money. Nine of um, Pentacles. You're focusing on your finances at this time. Yep. After some type of tower moment, something happened in the past. Scorpio Aries energy. Yep. Look at that. And now you're focusing on your finances. Doing something that you love that's going to bring balance in your life. Yep. 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 You may have dealt with something that was someone that a Capricorn, someone that was manipulative, um, overindulging in things. Could be a person. This could have been a situation. And you cut something off or something was removed. You moved on. Cancer energy chariot. Spoke your truth. This could have been an institution. Something in an institution happened and it caused you to be disappointed. But like I said, now, Princess of Pentacles, you're focusing on your finances. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy in um, what you're doing. You're happy in your home, your, your family, your children. Some of you are pregnant or you have a young child or something like that. Okay, where is it? Okay. All right, yeah. Some of you may be thinking about the past, reminiscing on the past, replaying events over and in your head. You may have insane chemistry with someone or you're um, passionate about um, something that you were doing in the past. Yeah, see, you learned your self-worth, focusing on yourself. And you're in paradise right now. You feel like you're in paradise. And you took all the time you needed to heal from this um, toxic energy, toxic person, toxic situation. Okay, we're going to get a couple cards from here. And then we are closing out. We're going to close out this reading. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. This is um good. All right. That's it. Let's see. So we have love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So whatever you were going through in the past, you had someone there going through it with you as well. And you two endured and went through this situation together. You may... Um, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So you may have gotten a gift or gift, you may have given someone a gift or showed someone your appreciation and love through gift. And um, that allows um, love to move and flow from you and to the atmosphere and back to you. 
karma, good karma. So with that being said, Sagittarians, this is your reading for the second week in February. Comment below. Let me know if um, if it resonates. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thumbs up image. Be safe. I'm sending you and your family love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.